Okay, we've got no fuel pressure on this Ranger, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually take power, which comes from all the way from the battery up there to make sure we got a good power. And this particular wire right here is the ground wire that's supposed to feed the fuel pump, right? Now you notice our little test light's burning. That tells us we got a good ground. We got no fuel pressure. We ran this pump on the bench, it runs just fine. But when we take this headlight bulb, which requires more, it pulls about the same amount of amps as the fuel pump. Okay, and so you might see that it's shining really bright. Okay, now I'm gonna hook it up. And you actually even see a little bit of a spark there. See a little spark where I'm hooking it up? But it doesn't burn this bulb. Because it won't burn this bulb, it won't run the fuel pump, which means we're dropping some voltage between there. That's why it's really important. Your people at uh, different colleges and schools and stuff will tell you in most places, don't ever use a test light to check electrical circuits on newer cars. This is why that statement is hogwash, because you can take a volt meter like they like for you to use, and you're going to read 12 volts. And as a matter of fact, this old-fashioned test light will actually even burn and act like you've got a plenty of current flow there on that ground circuit. Now, we don't have a problem on our hot side, but that ground circuit's bad. The fuel pump won't run. This initially manifested itself as pressure that was dropping off. But whenever we went in here and we replaced the fuel pump with another one that I happened to have in stock, that fuel pump wouldn't run at all except on the bench. It works. There's nothing wrong with the pump. But we've got insufficient current flow because of a voltage drop problem on the ground circuit. And that concludes this video.